Oh, you let go. What is up, YouTube? It's the old Bayside Angler, Brian Katona, back with another Bayside fishing adventure. Uh, today is freshwater at Bayside. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been down here. Uh, we had some things to do at home. Uh, and you did see the Raritan Bay Stripe Bash rock fishing adventures with Captain Vinny. In any event, the last time I was here, the crappie were biting and I used a very simple um, lure setup, which I'll show you. And I'm going to try this again today in terms of with the, oh, that's what happens when I have it going the wrong way. Jig head, pink crappie magnet on a float. And uh, since it is towards the end of May and the bass may be in pre-spawn, pre gonna try uh, some plastics. They oftentimes like the blue flecked uh, paddle tail worms. I'm gonna give that a try. And let's see what happens. Uh, I'm going to try the ponds that I was successful a couple of weeks ago, and I will be back at the end with a bit of a recap. But before we get to fit today's fishing adventures, a couple things. One, if you like the videos, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing down below. You know Mr. B.A. is up on Instagram, and today's adventure, like many adventures in the past, are, are brought to you by our sponsor, CK Productions. Before we get to today's fishing, a word from our sponsor. Stop recording. This episode is brought to you by Corey Katona and CK Productions for all your audio and voiceover needs. Visit www.coreykatona.com for more information. That's www.coreykatona.com. I don't know if you guys can see down here with the reflection, but could see the different color those are spawning beds and you can see there's some very big bluegill here you can see them all protecting the nests so it's pretty cool here Let's see if I can catch a couple of these but uh, pretty interesting Not skunked, Mr. B.A. Right in the lip. Very good. There we go. I have, I got a big fish on here. I saw him come up. I gotta let him, I gotta let him run out. You guys can see how gently I'm playing this guy. So I don't have a big hook on. Big girl. <laughs> Look at this one. Look at this big girl. Right in the lip. Yeah, you've been caught before. But I saw you come right up. You saw that. My jig came off, but that's okay. I'm going to properly release you. My jig snapped.
You can see our mouth. I want to get the hook out. Okay, hook removed. Now let's get a picture. This is at least a four pound, maybe five pounder. Woohoo, Mr. B.A. Gonna have to retie, but that's okay. What a nice fish. We'll get a nice release here. Back you go, Mama. Missed the one jump. There we go, we got a second jump. Didn't see that one even hit. Oh, Why? Can I see the two bass that I'm sight fishing for? And I didn't even see this guy. The one that got away was a big bass, but this is a good fish. I can feel it. Oh, Jesus. What a bluegill. <laughs> what a bluegill. Those are fun. I got light tackle on here. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, god damn it. No, you don't, Mama.
No, it's not. That's one heck of a bluegill. Boy, I thought I had a big bass there. Good thing I had that I left it on. No, stop. If you stop, you're going to go back in a minute. Right here, I think. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the adventure. As you could see from, from that, the crappy magnet on a simple float was absolutely crushed the fish. I didn't necessarily turn the camera on for everything I caught, but you see a good representative sample and clearly the couple of the biggest bass that I did catch. Pretty darn good. Uh, I am going to try the same pond and the same setup later on in the weekend, so hopefully I will have uh, adventure number two for you. Again, thanks for, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and we'll be back with another adventure shortly. Stop recording.